Hey there, my name's Daniel White. Some of you may know me as Dansky, and in this video, we're going to learn how to create a Bauhaus inspired brand identity project all in Behance. And if you'd like to download any of the free fonts that have been brought back to life from the Bauhaus Dessau Foundation, there is a link in the video description. But anyway, let's jump into it. Rightio, so we're now in Adobe XD and you can see I have my Behance brand identity project on screen. We have a logo followed by a poster, followed by a business card, followed by a website. Now I've designed this in full in Adobe XD, but of course you can do this in other apps like Photoshop and Illustrator as well. The important thing is to be able to export all of the different sections individually. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because it's a lot easier for someone to load, especially if it's on a mobile device, loading one section at a time rather than loading the entire thing in one go as one big image. So what I'm going to do now is if I just whip open the layers panel, you can see here, I've grouped these as four sections, logo, poster, business card, and website. And I'm simply going to select, hold shift, and select all of these, go to file, down to export and selected. And what I can do is I can export these as a suitable format. So PNG or JPEG is good for Behance. So we'll just stick with PNG. And you can see I've done this already here. So I'm not going to click export again. And if I just show you, it's exported each section as its own separate PNG. Cool. So let's just switch over to Behance and go to create a project and it will load the project editor. And this is what you will see. So we need to add our content first, then add a cover photo, then do some settings and we're all good to publish. So first of all, because I've done a lot of the design work up front in XD, I'm just going to go ahead and upload my files straight away. So you can see I have those PNGs, click open. And you can see the progress bars indicate how far through the upload it is. And there we go. So we've got all four sections in the project and we can click these arrows here if we want to add a little bit of spacing, a bit of breathing room around the edge. And we have the blue pencil icon here. And we can add captions, replace images if we update the design, for example, delete an image or a section, or reorder the entire project, which is what we're going to do. So I want the logo to be first as per my design in XD. And I want the poster next, followed by the business card and the website. There we go. So let's select save new order and it will update these changes. Now I've added all the text in my design just so I have maximum creative and stylistic control but you can also add text into Behance as well. So we can do this on the left. So we have all these different options here, or we can hover over a space in between some images and you get these same icons here. These correlate to the items on the left. So I could add some text here and it will insert it in between. And I could type some text here with a clickable link. And you get the same options here. You can reorder the project and this text is now an element within the project as well. We can also hover over this text and adjust the alignment to left, right or center or select certain elements of the text or all of the text and you get these style related properties. Font, font size, font color, bold, italic, underline. I'm sure you're very familiar with all of these. You can adjust the alignment but you can also add a hyperlink. So I could now add a URL if I were linking to an external file or a download or something. I'm just going to put adobe.com in this example and you can choose whether it opens the link in a new tab or not. And when you click done, you'll see that this is now a clickable link and I can hover over this and this would link to whatever download or file or whatever it is that you're trying to link to. But of course, I've done all of the design in XD, so I don't need to insert any additional text and there is no download in this example. So I can go ahead and delete this text. Next on the list, we have embed media. So we can embed some media from a third party site, all of these different sites down here. So just simply copy and paste the code, whether it's a video or an image or whatever it is, copy and paste it in here, click embed, and it will add this into your project. Next on the list, we have Lightroom photos and we also have creative cloud here. Essentially this allows you to import your Lightroom photos or any files from your creative cloud storage directly into your Behance project. So that's a really easy and convenient way to get those things in there. And also we have photo grid. 
So again, we've got those shortcuts to import from Lightroom or Creative Cloud. And also you can just upload more files into a photo grid. Now, lastly on the list, we have edit styles and layout. This allows us to edit the overall, as it suggests, style and layout of our Behance project, incredibly useful. So at the top, we have the layouts and the spacing. So you can see here, it's added this spacing of 60 pixels by default as I've uploaded all of the sections, but I've designed this up front in XD, so I don't really need that. So I'm just gonna bring that down to zero. And again, you've got the header as well, so you can add space on the header if you want, but we don't need that either. Dividers, we don't need that because we've done the design up front. But for example, if you've added your images and you've added all your text and you've done this in Behance and you haven't designed this up front, you can use these options here, the spacing, dividers, and background to fully customize your Behance project and just design it as you go. So we could change the background color, we could have a background image, we could add some dividers between our content. So you don't need to design it up front, it's just something that I've chosen to do for this video. And of course, if you're adding text, you can customize the fonts for your headers, subheaders, paragraphs, any captions that you've got, and also text links. So we had a default blue link before, we can change that color and you can change the style here as well. So we've just changed the spacing here. So let's click save and we can actually preview our project and you can see it's closed up that spacing. And this is how the project is going to look. So it looks good to me. Let's go back to edit. And the next thing we can do is click continue. And we need to add a project title. And I can click in this space here and preview how this is going to look. This is how my Behance project will appear and be named on the platform. And I can also select one of the images I've uploaded and use this as a cover preview. Or I can click the plus icon and add my own image if I like. So let's adjust the crop there, something like this. And you can see it changes on both previews in real time. Let's click crop and continue. And now we're onto the last screen, we're nearly there. So all we need to do it's just go and add a bit of information about our project. So we're going to categorize this with up to three creative fields. So we've got branding, we've got graphic design on the left here, and we also have print design. Let's click done. And I'm going to add the tools that I used. Co-owners, so add anyone else who helped you with the project copyright and license type. So there's lots of different options here, but if you don't know what half of these mean, you have the little tool tip here, which explains in a very easy to understand, clear way what each of them are. So select the appropriate license type and click done. And then just check if your project contains adult content, which this doesn't. So display, you've got the networks here, which is Behance and we can go to edit and we can check if this appears on any other networks and who can see this. And we can also disable comments on the project, but we don't wanna do that. Where's the sense of community in that? So let's re-enable comments, discoverability, and then just a bit more information here. So I could take the time to write a good description. And we can also add some keywords and we can separate these with commas. So you can add as many as you like companies, brands, and schools, who was the work done for? So you can add additional information in here as well. And I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can add who did you work with, what team was it, and who else would you like to recognize? So you can credit other people if you'd like to. So it's all very, very straightforward. But once you've done all of these, you're then good to go. So we've got two choices. Well, we've got three choices, actually. We could, we could cancel and undo everything we've done, but we're not going to do that. We can save our project as a draft if you'd like to come back to this and edit it or add in some additional information at a later date. But the other thing to do is to publish, and this will publish your project live on the Behance platform. So if we click Save, we can then go to our profile at the top, and then you have over here Edit Project Drafts, and you can either delete it or you can go back and edit it. And let's just preview this one last time. We can preview our entire project. And there we go. We have our Behance project. It is done, ready to go. And the only thing left to do is publish. 
And there we go, that's how to create a brand identity project on Behance.